Hello, I am Henk Hamoun, Product Marketing Manager for Synopsys new designware Soundwave Audio Subsystem. I'm very excited to demonstrate our new Soundwave Audio Subsystem and show you how a pre-verified SOC ready subsystem helps you accelerate your design and integration effort, reduce risk and get your product to the market quickly. First, let's think about all the consumer products that require great audio. It's everywhere. Your TV has fantastic audio. Your setup box decodes many audio streams in parallel. Media players play music from your home network. Blu-ray disc players provide very high resolution audio. And tablets allow you to play any music from the internet. Audio trends are demanding more audio processing and software. Products need to support a variety of audio formats as they are streamed over the internet. More audio channels and higher quality, like 24-bit precision in Blu-ray disc. They require more audio processing. These trends are in turn driving complexity in many of today's SOCs. The use of dedicated audio subsystems is the best solution to offload audio processing from the host processor, thus improving performance and efficiency of the chip. Synopsys analyzed these design requirements and developed an audio subsystem that provides designers with a fully configurable, pre-integrated solution that incorporates all the necessary components needed for an audio solution, including hardware, software, and prototyping. The Soundwave audio subsystem has three main pillars. Integrated hardware, dedicated software, and virtual and hardware prototypes. First, let's discuss the hardware. There is a 32-bit, fully configurable, single or dual-core ARC audio processor. ARC processors are very insensitive to memory latency. Is this important? Yes. Yes, it is. Your systems may have latencies of up to 200 or even 500 cycles. Your audio processor needs to be able to handle this. The ARC processor does. There are digital I2S inputs and outputs. We also have SPDIF that can be used for off-chip connections as well as high bandwidth on-chip connections. These can be programmed in high bandwidth mode and directly hooked up to Synopsys HDMI IP. And finally, we have analog hardware codecs. These A to D and DTA converters have a dynamic range of 96 dB. Most effort of today's SOC designs is spent on software, so let's talk about the dedicated software that is part of our solution next. We take software very seriously. Our third-party codecs are externally certified before we provide them to our customers. We offer certified software codecs which support the latest audio standards from Dolby, DTS, SRS, Microsoft, DRA, as well as open source formats like FLAC, Monkey, Forbis, MP3 and many others. Our audio post-processing software includes features such as adaptive volume and virtual surround. Plus we include audio post-processing functions such as bass management, surround balance, equalizers, treble control and much more. All this audio software needs to be integrated. This is typically a labor-intensive task, so we provide an easy-to-use solution, a media streaming framework, in which all these software functions can be easily configured and integrated. Finally, the subsystem is integrated in an SOC, and the software is integrated into the application running on the host processor. For this, we provide a unique software plugin. We select the GStreamer as the standard, since it is supported in many systems, including Linux and Android. This is a fully configurable solution. You can create a complete subsystem, including all the hardware and software, in less than an hour, rather than weeks or months even, compared to manual integration and verification. The Soundwave audio subsystem includes both virtual and FPGA-based prototyping designs to help you accelerate software development and validation of your full system. Now, my colleague Raza Malik, Corporate Application Engineering Manager, will show you the solution in action in our sound studio. Thanks, Hank. What I have here is a HAPS51 FPGA-based prototyping system, which contains a complete system on chip, incorporating Synopsys Designware IP, including a host processor, DDR controller, SDIO, UART, Ethernet, and of course, the Soundwave audio subsystem. The Soundwave audio subsystem configuration inside this HAPS51 
FPGA-based prototyping system contains a 32-bit dual-core ARC audio processor, stereo analog output, plus digital I squared S, and a multi-channel SPDIF input-output. This solution is running on an Android-based platform. With my laptop, I can now remotely control the GStreamer audio application on the host processor, which controls the Soundwave audio subsystem. You have just heard how great audio can be achieved with the Soundwave audio subsystem. Thanks, Raza. Today we demonstrated how the complete configurable Soundwave audio subsystem, consisting of hardware, software, and prototyping, enables you to deliver great audio. By providing a pre-verified, SOC-ready solution, Synopsys helps you significantly reduce your project risk and design and verification effort. To learn more about the Soundwave audio subsystem solution and download the latest white papers, please visit synopsis.com audio subsystem. Thank you for watching.